Hi guys, my name is Maria and I'm a London-based illustrator and this is my first process video voiceover. So let's see how that goes. In this video, I'll share a bit of a process behind designing an album cover from concepting to final watercolor painting and digital rendering. The client, a musician named Scott, wanted an illustration that would be themed around his uh, memories of growing up in a Jewish family. The process started with Scott sending through a couple of his own sketches. I did a couple of my own versions and we decided to pick the one with sort of a circle of motion of two split heads and some objects floating around them that would create this never-ending time and memory loop. I then printed it out on an A3 uh, paper sheet and um, traced it onto this very thick watercolor sheet. And this is now ready to paint. I always start with creating watercolor outlines first. A lot of people ask me whether it's ink or watercolor and the answer is always watercolor. And people also ask me a lot uh, why I use red to outline. And to be honest, I'm not completely sure. It's just a sort of a personal preference. Um, I've had it for a couple of years. I've previously mentioned that this illustration would be about Scott growing up in a Jewish family and that family migrating to the States quite a while ago. Uh, you can start noticing some objects that I've embedded into the composition, which are books and stamps, some letters, some train ticket, luggage. Of course, some sort of split human heads, which is just a personal classic. After the outlines are done, I can then start adding some color. In this case, me and Scott decided that the palette for this illustration should be quite warm, so I decided I would start with a reddish sort of paint. Building up first layers of color is it's quite, a, it's quite a long process, it's very time-consuming, but it's also very important because this is the base of your painting and this is um, how you will end up looking primarily. I'm using a very, very thin layer of yellow paint and I'm just sort of lightly washing it over the painting and um, it smudges just a little bit and I sort of control my brush to try and decide where exactly it's gonna smudge the detail a little bit and where and which parts are gonna remain untouched. Now on to the next stage which is probably my most favorite and um, it's the adding the detail stage for which I start by mixing that the perfect color that I would like my outlines to be and in this case, I've, I've mixed together really warm, sort of rotten plum color, which is very dark magenta and some dark brown mixed together. I was happy with it, so I started adding the detail. This is obviously that time in the entire process where you really start seeing the result and, and the whole drawing really comes together. All the previous stages and all the all the long time you spent building up the color layer by layer using some wash over it doing some smudging letting it dry it all finally pays off because now when you add the actual little outlines and, and the detail is when you're witnessing this final stage This is it, really. After the outlining stage, you just sort of sit back and look at it, give it a good old look and decide, can this become even better? And if the answer is yes, then I mean, I would probably want it to be over after many, many hours of drawing. But you know what? It's really worth pausing there at the end and asking yourself if you can improve it because this is your last chance to give it 100%. So at the end of every work, I stop and I, I try and imagine what would make it even better. 
sometimes it's adding those extra detail or maybe some sparkly watercolor here and there or maybe just scanning it and sort of changing some colors. Sometimes steps like that, even at the very last minute, change the course of this entire process and suddenly you're like, wow, this is pretty interesting. And at the end, you'd rather have something you never get tired of looking at than something that looks back at you and makes you think it's not quite there. That's it guys, um, thanks for listening, hopefully this wasn't too painful and um, let me know if you'd like some more of these narrated process videos in the future.